Peggy 18. One day my father decided it was time to move away, across the ocean, to start a new life in Empire Bay. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic. It was beautiful. Empire Bay is a fictional city. It's on the east coast of America. It's inspired largely by New York. You would probably recognize the, uh, the skyline, but um, it's really a cross-section of lots of different American cities. Because uh, Empire Bay... Uh... Empire Bay covers an area of around 10 square miles, which is roughly twice the size of the city in the original Mafia. We have many different neighborhoods in the city, some 20 different neighborhoods. It really sort of feels real, you know. It feels like a, an American city that everyone's been to, but obviously it's period authentic as well, and it's a big part of the details that we've added to the game. These little details were so important to us when we were creating the city. We wanted the buildings to have the correct wireframe models and the textures to be as authentic as possible. So we actually went to New York and Chicago and spent several weeks soaking up the atmosphere and taking thousands of photos to use as inspiration. We have two versions of the, uh, the city. We've got a 1940s version and a 1950s version. So the first part of the game is set in the winter, you know, like the whole place is completely covered in snow. It's happening during World War II, so uh, the whole atmosphere is one of, you know, austerity. Everyone is very poor. A lot of the young guys have been away to war. In fact, uh, the game begins with Vito coming back from the war. And just like in our game, life is tough for Vito. Life is not easy for Vito. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. For me, it's the very small details, you know, like the, the snow sliding off the cars when you accelerate. The period detail is extremely high. All of these things together, the animations, the detail, the weather changing as you go through the, the missions, it's really just all adds together to create the atmosphere and the vibe. Then when we move to the 50s, it's a very different environment. It's rock and roll, the guys are driving cool cars, everyone's got a little bit more money. The whole kind of feeling and the vibe of the game has changed. The 50s for us really is the birth of cool, you know? The birth of the TV, the birth of rock and roll. It's got all these different sort of things going for it, you know? After the depression of the 40s and the war, when you sort of come to the 50s in the game, it really feels different, you know? It's really bright, it's really vibrant. There's loads of different stuff going on in the city. The music in the game really transports you back to the era. We have almost 200 licensed tracks that were on the radio back then. This is all real music from the era. You know, it's artists like uh, Little Richard, Tony Bennett, classic artists that, you know, the music is still alive and well today. Hey, how'd you get in here? The enemies in the game are different sorts of uh, gangs from within the city. You have the bombers, the greasers. But as well as that, we have other Italian mobsters from the Clemente family, from the Vinci family, and the uh, Falcone family. I guess a big enemy could be described as the police force. The feds and the police are always trying to put a stop to the mafia's crimes that are going on. It depends on which police you're talking about. If it's the beat cop, are you going to screw with these guys who really aren't committing a violent crime right in front of you? You're just going to take your pay off and keep on walking because it's a lot easier. What we wanted with the police is a sort of very 50s film sort of feel to it, you know. If you duck out of sight, duck down a few alleys, then you're going to lose the immediate chase. Everything just feels different. The way they speak is different, the music is different. All of these different elements, they really transport you back. It doesn't feel like, oh, I'm going to go to Manhattan now and walk around, expect to see the same kind of thing. It's a different world.